See, this uh, today's event was only placing the Aditya L1 in the precise halo orbit. So it was moving towards a high orbit, but we had to do a little bit of corrections to put it at the right place. So something like a 31 meter per second velocity has to be given cumulatively to, in, uh, to the satellite to keep it at the right uh, orientation. So basically it is a halo orbit, it is an orbit which uh, moves around L1 point with a size of 6 lakh kilometer in one direction, uh, 2 plus lakh in one, another dimension, 3, 1 lakh in 1 lakh kilometer in another dimension. So it formed like an egg. So in this new orbit it has to be placed, it has to be very precisely put. If you don't do the correction today, it will escape from this point. Okay, okay we will not allow it to escape if it does not happen. There are some contingencies, but I am only telling mathematically it can escape. So that has been very precisely done. Ultimately, what we achieved today is exact placement based on our measurement and very correct prediction of the velocity requirement. The computer decided to cut off at the uh, accelerometer based cutoff has happened. So uh, right now it is at the, in our calculation it is at the right place. But we are going to monitor for the next few hours to see whether it is at the right place. Mm -hmm. Then if it is slightly drifted, we may have to do a little bit of correction. Now, and we don't expect that to happen. How important all this can play, sir, because as far as understanding the sun is concerned. See, the scientific aspect of uh, this particular mission has already been well described. Uh, because uh, it is going to look at the solar coronal mass ejection, CME. Basically using a primary instrument called the, the VELC, which is uh, developed by the Institute of Astrophysics. And uh, this will uh, look at the corona part of the uh, uh, sun, almost three times its diameter, uh, distance away. And uh, corroborating that, there will be other measurements, uh, which is again uh, by a payload called SUIT, which is, an, uh, which is going to look at the entire disk of the sun in uh, ultraviolet in various frequency bands, which is already images have been, we have already put out in the website. We also have particle measurements uh, in the, um, what is coming out of the sun by the payload called the PAPA. Then we also have X-ray measurements, which is in low energy and high energy X-ray measurement. We also have magnetometer, which looks at the space magnetic field, which is coming for because of these ejections. So it is a and so eh? solar. so yeah solar wind is essentially the particle uh, emission which is happening. So we look at all of this in a in a very correlated manner, which is very unique part of this mission. This is not only a national mission, but also the international community. See, everybody is looking at it, yeah. Because uh, understanding sun is not important for India alone. It's central for the entire global. So this is what precisely after Chandrayantri landing also our Honorable Prime Minister told. Chandrayantri is for the whole of the world, not for India alone. So the solar mission, Aditya Elvan, is also for the whole of this uh, world, for all of us to understand and make use of this scientific importance. So here the Im impact is on the space weather. You know, space weather is more <laughs> controlled by such activities, especially the uh, behavior of the uh, sun, which affects our magnetic external fields, and then it's a uh, impact more on northern latitude and southern latitude, which is more dominant in southern latitude, northern latitudes, and of course southern latitude, not much in the equatorial region. So it is more dominant for areas other than India precisely, to, to be technically correct. So that way a lot of people are interested uh, to understand this effect. So we look forward to a lot of scientific outcome come in the coming days. At least five years of life is guaranteed with the fuel left out in the satellite also. Okay. Yes. So Prime Minister has once again uh, applauded uh, you know, uh, Isro and you have given him a gift in this year. Yeah. What next? See, I think his uh, vision has already been outlined very well. I think all of you are aware of it. Uh, he, after the Chandrayaan mission, he was so upbeat about the accomplishment of uh, space agency in India, making all of us proud, making the soft landing on the moon. He said that the impact is so profound yeah. in the country as well as within the minds of the young people. So he, it is the right opportunity that he has outlined a total vision for us in the next 25 years in the Amrit Kal, which is very, very, very ambitious that we must conduct more and more exploratory missions while we do all the applications and other societally relevant things like going to moon on a regular manner. Landing on the moon by 2040 is the target given to us uh, with the human being and bring them back safely, of course. Then uh, build space stations in a systematic manner from 2028, the first unit should go up. And 2035, we must have an operational space station where people can go and stay and work. This is second goal. So Chandrayaan mission should continue if it has to happen like that. So we are working on various missions to moon how to bring samples or how to do robotic exploration, how to do go around the moon and come back with people. You know, all of this we'll have to plan in a sequential manner. We also have to do scientific missions to Venus, maybe to Mars again, maybe to land on Mars. So all of this we have to do. So it looks like a, our hand, 
for no space sex is a different thing it's a commercial activity it's not a, an activity which i mentioned here and the sail is a commercial arm they have a satellite to be launched so they looked at what is the best commercial way to possible to launch huh? yeah you are talking about spacex or spacex 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 i am i told the same thing only so they have entered into a contract for launching the, the gsat 20 now which is heavier satellite we cannot launch so that is a different activity okay. so gaganyaan will be the most uh, crucial thing no as i already told last uh, exposat launch also i was uh, telling that gaganyaan in year 2024 is a gaganyaan preparatory year and 25 is a gaganyaan launch year okay. so let the preparatory year be filled with a lot of activity for gaganyaan we have to launch at least two unmanned missions we have to do two test flight missions we have to do pad about test helicopter dot test lot of developments have to happen including environmental control life support system qualifications so this is that means we are hands are full at various centers uh, shankaran is preparing at urc the uh, the uh, pop, the very critical part of the first unit of the service module and more numbers have to come and the naran and team is working on eclss and various propulsion capability for service model crew model lot of test uh, done in the last years i think probably would have already read in our website and very happy to say that most of the tests are getting completed yesterday also there was a test in lpsc on the cryogenic engine to demonstrate its high reliability for gaganyaan very successfully many things we are not announcing hundreds of tests are happening huh? So, so much ahead of time. Much, uh, yeah. How was the mood today? You know, when this was happening, uh, we, was it, it, is time time it is celebration time for us. It is celebration time for us. But uh, when you celebrate, uh, we have equally a moment of work also. <laughs> Anxious moments. That is out of our textbook now. ये तो एक बहुत बहुत बढ़िया कॉम्प्लेक्स मिशन था इसमें यही बात है कि हमको एक वेरी प्रिसाइसली करना है हमको जो वेलोसिटी देना है स्पीड देना है तो कुछ तो, तो कम ही है कुछ थर्टी वन मीटर्स पर सेकेंड है तो इतना सा छोटा सा वेलोसिटी है इफ इट्स नॉट करेक्ट वह ये एलवन से कहीं दूर जाएंगे सूर्य से भी दूर जाएंगे ऐसा नहीं होने देंगे फिर भी हमें बोलता है कि ऐसे जाएंगे सो so, इसके करेक्शन इसका मेशरमेंट इस तरह अच्छी तरह होना चाहिए हमारे ग्राउंड स्टेशन से हमको यही अच्छी तरह मेशर कर सका और अब इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स है ऑन बोर्ड में एक दो गायरोस है एक्सिलोमीटर्स है सभी अच्छी तरह काम किए और अल्गोरिदम भी अच्छा है मैथामेटिकल कैलकुलेशन है कॉम्प्लेक्स मैथामेटिकल कैलकुलेशन है एक ऐसे कैलकुलेट करूं ये भी अच्छी तरह इसी समय हमको कर सका सो इसलिए हमारा रिजल्ट अच्छा होना ही चाहिए अंतर्राष्ट्र साइंटिफिक कम्युनिटी से हमें डिस्कशन हो रही है चर्चा हो रही है ये डाटा उनको भी जाए के पास भी जाएंगे हमारे दो आई एस डी सी है और साइंटिफिक डाटा सेंटर है वहां से ये डाटा उनको भी मिलेंगे ये एलवन पॉइंट जो है बहुत अनस्टेबल पॉइंट ऐसा कहते हैं ये अनस्टेबल पॉइंट नहीं है स्टेबल पॉइंट भी है बट तो इसमें पर्टाबेशन होते रहते हैं तो इसलिए हमने कुछ तो कुछ प्रोपेलन तो कंसम्पन होगा हमारा एस्टिमेट है एक साल में छह किलो प्रोपेलन का कंसम्पन होना ही चाहिए हमारे उपग्रह में अभी एक हंड्रेड किलो ग्राम प्रोपेलन है तो इसलिए इसको ज्यादा ज्यादा से ज्यादा पांच साल से अधिक लाइफ होना ही चाहिए सो इसमें यही है की हमारे जो कोरोना मास इंजेक्शन होते हैं सन से इसके में कोई कोई आफ्टर इफेक्ट है ये आफ्टर इफेक्ट से पार्टिकल्स आते हैं उसमें मैग्नेटिक फील्ड में चेंज जो होते हैं एक्सरे भी कम आउटपुट होते हैं ये सभी को हमको मेशर करके एक सिस्टमेटिक इम्पैक्ट को हम मेशर करेंगे फॉर एग्जाम्पल मैग्रेटिक सपोज हम हमको ये सिर्फ मैग्रेटिक मेशरमेंट से कि हम कोरिलेट करेंगे सीएम सीएमसी सीएमसी से आता है या नहीं सो so, ऐसे सेवन इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स है ऐसे ऐसे एक उपग्रह का भी नहीं मिला है भी, भी कंस्ट्रक्ट किया है कहीं भी नहीं लॉन्च किया है यही है उसका बहुत बढ़िया उपलब्धि है हमारे इस तरह से अलग कई कई मिशन होते होते ही रहते हैं सोहो है ये कई साल के पहले हमारे अमेरिका से हुआ था वहाँ उसके बाद ये ही होते ही रहते हैं सो इसे कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री है हमको ये मेशरमेंट के बारे में हम भी जानकारी है ये आई नो मुझसे ऐसे ही नहीं कर सकते हैं अपडेट के बारे में कुछ भी नहीं कर सकते हमारा इंस्ट्रूमेंट बहुत अच्छा है इसको मेशरमेंट को हम हमने जो टारगेट किया है उसे अचीव करेंगे सर लास्ट क्वेश्चन प्रधानमंत्री हमेशा इसरो के साथ रहे मोटिवेट करते रहे 
ये मिशन के बाद प्रधानमंत्री आपने बो, आपने आपने बहुत लिखा हुआ उनका ट्वीट उसके ट्वीट में हमको कंग्रेचुलेट किया है हमको यही आदेश दिया है कि हम जो आउटलाइन है तो विशन तो आउटलाइन है उसके कर लीजिए पूरा सपोर्ट देने के हम हमारे साथ ही रहते हैं आज तो उन्हें हमको उनको ये होना ही चाहिए था पर फिर उनके बहुत बढ़िया काम और और भी है इसी नहीं है स्पेस का भी नहीं सो so, इसलिए हमने जो आशीर्वाद दो दिया है हमको बहुत खुश हुआ इसी के हमने चांद हो गया सूर्य हो गया अगला क्या सब और और कई ग्रह ना <laughs> हमको वीनस है मार्स है जुपिटर है नेपट्यून है प्लूटो है प्लूटो अभी भी है या नहीं <laughs> हम जो हम जाएंगे हम तो एक प्लानट बनाएंगे हमने एक स्पेस स्टेशन बनाता हूँ ये स्पेस स्टेशन हो हमारा प्लानट तो हम अभी जा, जाके हमारा इंस्ट्रूमेंट शुरू हो चुका है हमें अनाउंस करेंगे कैसे होते हैं कैसे ड्रॉइंग होते है ये सभी लोग इसमें ही जुड़ा है चंद्रन है राम नारायण है उसके प्रोपल्शन के बारे में चर्चा हो रही है ये तो रिव्यू अगले एक एक हफ्ते में हो रहे थे होते रहते हैं सो इट इज वेरी सेटिस्फाइंग फॉर अस बिकॉज इट इज एंड ऑफ ए लॉन्ग जर्नी हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स डेज फ्रॉम लिफ्ट ऑफ टू नाउ इट हेज रीच द फाइनल पॉइंट सो रीचिंग द फाइनल पॉइंट इज ऑलवेज एन एंशियस मोमेंट बट वी आर वेरी श्योर अबाउट इट सो इट हैपन एज प्रोडिक्टेड सो वी आर वेरी हैप्पी बिगिनिंग Of the new no, it's, everything is in beginning. But here, L1, we are the first time going there. Many people have gone earlier in different ways. So something very unique about it, Shankaran will tell you. Just uh, Shankaran. As far as uh, no, no, just no, no. You, you listen to him. What is the significance of this journey? Yes, sir, sir, this uh, spacecraft has been moved from uh, Earth to L1 point through something uh, known as the gravitational manifolds. These gravitational manifolds are uh, something like. the cosmic super highways it is like if you go on a village road how much speed you can go if you go on a super highway how fast you can go Th that is a difference this is uh, the gravitational manifold is something which allows you to go from one planet to another planet with minimum expenditure of fuel so uh, not many people have done it not many missions have used this gravitational manifold concept so we have done it for the first time in aditya l1 this is a big achievement because for this there is no uh, available uh, software or tools which are available anywhere which we can use everything has been developed by our teams which has been uh, successfully utilized and we could uh, see the outcome of that by making the spacecraft to reach at the exact calculated time from earth to l1 point and reach there at the with the exa exact exact velocity it was expected to reach there So, so uh, congratulations to our mathematics for uh, high dynamics team. Yes. Okay. Sir, as far as controlling, so we will change now. Yeah, oh, yeah. How is it? <laughs> we are controlling, controlling. See, uh, control is like any other spacecraft, it is. Sir. Yeah. So the we have reached the L1 uh, point. So also the uh, the uh, spacecraft is inserted into the halo orbit. So this is uh, a big milestone in the phase of the Aditya L1. We had a first Earth-bound orbit, and then the cruise phase, and now we have reached the L1 and going to the halo orbit now we'll be ready to open and uh, start operating all the science instruments so we will we look forward to opening and the uh, performance verification phase and the science results coming from all the instruments uh, from aditya l1 how important this this mission can play in future course of actions in any of the operations of this yeah so this is a 1.5 million kilometer away operation so it is a first time we are doing it so this will give us a lot of capacity building and also with respect to confidence to do things which are a first time so we always do first time and be successful so this is once again proving that we can do it that because we have done the enough homework to as do it correctly as, yeah as far as space science is concerned can it's we, very, can be more uh precisely say that we can reach so close and more but yeah yeah so we can uh, we can have a futuristic, futuristic missions which can travel f uh, farther and can do more complex operations like this so we will be doing much many more in the future i think so i wish all the success to isro thank you so it's a very important moment because i i believe that it's a, just the beginning uh, of the journey of aditya l1 because mm -hmm. it was supposed to be placed in a, a special orbit which we call halo orbit exactly at l1 point it is not possible to place uh, any space probe because then we are directly looking into the sun and sun being a strong source of radio emission will cause tremendous interference in any communication we are going to have with the satellite 
so the orb there is a solar exclusion zone and which is about 5 degrees so we uh, place our satellite in halo orbit this halo orbit is perpendicular to the line of sight towards the sun so in moving in that orbit uh, the, our satellite is always looking at the sun so 24 hours a day and th all the days of the year it is going to observe the uh, sun for isro reaching l1 and placing an uh, satellite in an orbit around it is remarkable it's for the first time second thing is for all indian institutions that have payloads on aditya l1 this is also again the first time because their instruments are already uh, tested and functional and they have already started giving some important data they have detected x uh, flares on the sun they have taken the pictures of the sun in ultraviolet light in different filters and also uh, measure the uh, charged particles densities and velocities uh, that are uh, coming from the sun these are electrons protons helium nuclei that are at high speeds coming from the sun and solar corona as we know uh, is something very special it's the outer most atmosphere of the sun which is uh, its uh, brightness is very low so at any ordinary time we cannot see it at the time of total solar eclipse when the moon blocks the light of the sun that is the disk of the sun then only we are able to see this very thin atmosphere around the sun that is corona it's at a very high temperature and we are wanting to understand how this corona uh, is kept so hot whereas the surface of the sun is not very hot it's only about 5700 degrees centigrade whereas corona is at 2 million degrees uh, centigrade so those are the things we have to understand this apart our technological life is now depending on space weather so how uh, the charged particles uh, are uh, reaching the earth and affecting communication and causing disturbances that we have to know so being at l1 uh, and for example in the case of a coronal mass ejection that takes place in the corona of the sun it's a highly uh, it, it's uh, it's a big cloud of plasma which is magnetized and as it in case it travels towards the earth then it is going to uh, sort of uh, hit the ionosphere of the earth and cause radio communication uh, problems so all of that we will know in advance at least one and hour uh, in advance so that we are able to safeguard our satellites either by switching them off or reorienting them for some time and uh, till the storm is over